Hi everyone! In this video, I want to show you how to downgrade macOS to any previous version. I believe that most of you is here because macOS Tahoe, which is currently still acting very weird, even months after release. But this tutorial will work with any macOS you are currently on. This is actually a sponsored video, so I'm going to compare two different ways how you can do it. The first traditional manual method, which is completely free, using App Store and Terminal commands. And a much easier and faster way, using iBoySoft Disk Geeker. If you are not in the mood to be digging into a terminal, you can use the timestamps below this video to jump to the other half. But now, let's start with the basics. Actually, before you jump into anything, make sure to back up your data first. When you are installing an older macOS, it is recommended to fully format your disk. So I would recommend to make a complete backup of all of your data. You can use Time Machine or whichever backup method you prefer. Once it's done, we can move on safely. Alright, now the first classic way. Head over to App Store and search for macOS. I will search macOS Sequoia, but you can choose any system you want. To make it easier for you, you can also click on the link in the description, which will take you directly to the page. Here, click on Get and download the system. Once it's downloaded, you should see a warning message, because you can't just install the OS to downgrade the system. But you can ignore that, because all we need to do first is to simply create a bootable version of the installer. But before that, plug in any external drive or USB storage. I prefer to use the small USB than deleting the whole external drive because you will need to format the disk. Just make sure it has more than 16 gigabytes of space because macOS Sequoia is over 15 gigabytes and the future systems might be even more. Now when it's connected, search for disk utility. You can use Spotlight for that. Here, format the disk. The format doesn't really matter as much, but it's recommended to use macOS Extended. In this case, the name is more important, because you will need to add the name into the terminal command which we will be using later on. So I will call it, for this purpose, macOS Boot. Now we are done here, so we can close it and go to terminal. Here run this command. I have the code for you in the description of this video, so you can just simply copy and paste it, depending on which macOS you are trying to install. The only thing you need to change is the name of the USB at the end, or whatever your drive is called. If you named it the same as me, then you don't need to change anything and just confirm it with enter. You will be asked to add your user password and also further confirm it with letter Y. But once you do that, press enter. That's all done. It will create a bootable installer for your macOS you are downgrading to. Now you can close everything, shut down your Mac and boot it up again by holding the power button. That's for the new Macs. If you are still on Intel Mac, you will also need to hold down the option key in order to start it in this startup menu. In there you will first need to go to disk utility, erase your main drive and after choose the other option to install macOS Sequoia. It will install it from your USB drive. So simply follow all of the steps. And once the system is installed, you can restore all of your files from the backup you have made earlier. It is quite a lot of steps, so if you don't feel very confident with Terminal, you can do all of that nice and easy using iBoySoft Disk Geeker. So head over to the official website. I will again leave a link for it in the description. And here, you can download it for free. But in order to use this feature, you will need a paid subscription plan anyway. It is super easy to install it, and once it's done, it will be in your applications folder. So open it up, and straight from the main page, you can see the option here to create a boot disk. So again, connect your USB drive, select the version of macOS you want to use, and the app handles everything else. So it will download the installer, it will create a bootable USB for you without any commands in terminal. And it will also walk you through all of the steps in erasing the disk and reinstalling the macOS. 
so there is really no space for error. Honestly, it is a perfect option for anyone who doesn't want to mess around with terminal or with any other complicated steps. And it offers you a lot more features than just this one, including disk diagnosis or disk cleaning. By the way, if you need to free up some storage, check out my new detailed Mac cleaning video. But anyway, thanks so much for hanging with me all the way to the end. And let me know in the comments if you have tried this new iBoySoft method or you prefer to stay with the no cost method and do everything manually yourself. I love hearing your experiences, but I also have to give a big thanks to iBoySoft for sponsoring this video. And make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss any future tech tips. So, see you in the next one.